So this is the infamous flag of the Islamic State. I'm sure you've seen it by now. But did you know that this flag goes further back in history than our modern times? According to Islamic sources, accepted Islamic sources, this was actually Muhammad's flag. You may say, how ridiculous, how would you know? Well, luckily the hadith, the quotations of Muhammad, uh, tells us very strongly and it gives us an idea. So as you already know, since you have viewed all of these videos, the hadith are widely accepted in the religion of Islam. They are what Muhammad had said, things that were recorded about him or things of those closest to him said. So, why did ISIS choose this flag? Well, first, let's go through what we do know about whatever flag or banner Muhammad used in the 7th century. We know that Ibn Abbas said this. He said that the flag or flags of the Apostle of Allah were black and his banner was white. We also know that Yunus bin Ubaid, a slave of Muhammad bin al-Qasim is quoted as saying, Muhammad bin al-Qasim sent me to al-Bara'a's house to ask about the apostle's flag. He said it was a black square made of wool. So we know those two things. Ibn Ishaq said, before the apostle of Allah were two black flags, one with Ali bin Abi Talib, it was named al-Uqab, and the other with some of the Ansar. Now, Ibn Abi Shayba reported in his work, he said that the banner of the Prophet was black and it too was called Al-Uqab. Now this is interesting stuff here because what does Uqab mean? We know in the Arabic language a Uqab is a flesh-eating bird that eats its prey while it's still alive. So by naming the flag by this name, Muhammad was effectively comparing his message to that. Now although ISIS brought this flag to the people's attention in our modern day, we see that it goes back to the founder of Islam, Muhammad. Now, ISIS being amazingly intelligent and aware of these teachings, they knew exactly what they were doing when they chose this flag. It was no accident. When Abi Bakr became the Muslim Caliphate, it was written to him that the seal of the Prophet had three lines in it. Muhammad was on one line, the Apostle was on one line, and the name of Allah was on another line. So you have Muhammad on one line, Apostle and Allah. So it looks just like the flag. What does this tell us about ISIS? It tells us that ISIS is consciously and intentionally relating all of its behavior, even to the minute things like a flag, to its adopted religion of Islam. So could, could I say this clearly? I say yes. Numerous examples and ample amount of context is offered to conclude that ISIS is in fact consciously intentional about their traditions and it goes back to the Sunnah of Muhammad. We've seen numerous correlation between the terror organization and the early era of Islam. Does ISIS have precedence to justify their actions? Does Islamic theology based on their sources encourage or discourage ISIS behavior? Well, to, I, I see this and I say yes, there exists a shocking correlation within Islamic tradition and their beliefs that ISIS has been imposing and enforcing even down to things like their logo and their flag and the colors. Now the confusion begins when ISIS is so strict in following their prime role model, the example Islam's founder Muhammad, the line gets blurry in the West as to what is and what is not Islam because in the West, we're familiar with Jesus and Moses and the Judeo-Christian culture, right? We're not familiar with tribal 7th century ways of life. Now keep that in mind because this is not a hate-filled statement or an attack upon Islam. Rather, it's just simply a matter of fact. This flag is not just used by ISIS. It's also used by the other jihadi organizations, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab. This is the reason why Islam's less than great qualities must be addressed and even exposed. Otherwise, more innocent Muslims, Christians, Jews, Yazidis, non-Muslims will be victims of ISIS because of these blurry lines of confusion. And this is why you need to continue to watch these videos and share them with all your friends. So be looking for the next video and join the discussion with the hashtag on your screen.